Dear students, welcome to Divya's Math Solutions. Today we are going to discuss Chapter 10, Vector Algebra, Exercise 10.1. Question number 1. Represent graphically a displacement of 40 km 30 degree east of north. So what we need to do? First we can draw north, south, east and west. Right. We can mark. North, South, East and West. So what we need to represent the angle is 30 degree. 30 degree East of North. East of North. This East of North we need to represent the angle. So what we need, this one the center I mark it as OP. So here only we are going to represent the 30 degree East of North. So from North what we need to take. From here we need to keep the product and mark 30 degree. So somewhere it will come 30 degree. So we need to draw a line. So this is from here to here. This much is 30 degree. 30 degree east of north. East of north. This, o, this line we can take it as OP. Since OP is 30 degree. Next we need to uh, make displacement of 40 kilometer. Correct. Then 40 kilometer means this one here, here we need to represent. So what we need to take we need to take some scale correct so one kilo, uh, scale we can take it as 10 kilometers is equal to 1 centimeter scale as 10 kilometer equal to 1 centimeter so here we can that scale we can take 1 1 we can divide that means 1 2 3 4 1 centimeter 2 centimeter 3 centimeter 4 centimeter so from here to here is what 1 centimeter is 10 so correct that means 10 20 30 40 so this is a 40 we can represent on this line also correct this is the 40 this till here is the 40 here to here is a 40 kilometer also this is a representation scale we need to represent 1 centimeter is equal to 10 kilometer we need to represent the uh, which one the direction also question number 2 classify the following as scalars and vectors what do you mean by scalar? A quantity which has only magnitude is called a scalar. A quantity which have both the magnitude and the direction is called a vector. Right. So first one is 10 kilogram. 10 kilogram means what? This is unit of which one? Weight. Which has only magnitude. Right. This 10 kilogram is what? This is 10 kilogram is weight which has only magnitude. So this one is a scalar we can write. 10 kilogram is a scalar. Next. 2 meter northwest here 2 meter northwest northwest means direction is given 2 meter northwest has magnitude as 2 meter as well as direction as northwest right so what is this one if magnitude and direction is there means that is a vector so this 2 meter northwest is vector next one is 40 degree 40 degree means there is only magnitude so this one is scalar Next, 40 watt. 40 watt means the watt is the unit of which word power, right? This is power. So, power means which has only magnitude. So, what is this word? This one is scalar. Next, 10 power minus 9 coulomb. So, this, is, this one is coulomb means what? Electric charge, right? So, which has only magnitude. There is no direction. So, this is also scalar. Next, 20 meter per second square. Meter per second square is unit of which one? Acceleration, right? This is acceleration. So, which has magnitude as well as direction. So, this one is vector. 20 meter per second square is vector. Question number 3. Classify the following as scalar and vector quantities. What do you mean by scalar? A quantity which has only magnitude is called a scalar. A quantity which has magnitude as well as direction is called a vector quantity. Right. First one is time period. Time period means we can take one example. Uh, 10 second or 1 hour. Like that we can take. In 10 second has only magnitude. Right. That is 10 and there is no direction. So what we can say this is a scalar quantity we can write. If it has, this has only magnitude. What is magnitude over here? 10 is the magnitude and there is no direction is mentioned. So what is this one? This one is a scalar. Correct. Next, distance. Distance means uh, how we can take. We can take 10 kilometer or 5 meter. Like that we can take. That means there is only magnitude. There is no direction. So what is this uh, distance? Distance is also a scalar quantity. Next, a force. We are applying a force. 
so force means um, how we'll apply the force we apply the force in some direction right so how we can take it as this force as a vector quantity if you are applying some force to your body means we are applying in some direction correct so the force is a vector quantity we can write so we are applying phi and toward the you know, downwards direction or upward direction like that we can take so force is a vector quantity so because it has both the magnitude and the direction next velocity velocity means uh, we can take one example 5 meter per second or something 5 meter per second we can take one example so it has magnitude as 5 uh, that is 5 meter per second has what is there the magnitude is also there direction is also there correct so in some direction only we are applying this velocity so what we can conclude this velocity is a vector quantity we can write so velocity means example uh, based on the example velocity is we are taking it as 5 meter per second means it has magnitude and direction is also there so what we can say velocity is a vector quantity in some direction only here also velocity we are applying next step, work done work done means what work done has only magnitude we are uh, some some persons are doing this much of work or a, a has completed this much of work in one day or like that means it has only magnitude there is no particular direction right for work done so work done is a scalar quantity next question number four in the figure identify the following vectors first one is colonial colonial means what uh, this how the same from the same initial point two vectors is coming means that is take it as colonial point right so which one have the same uh, same point this we can take it as a and a, uh, a and b see this a is coming from this point and b is coming from sorry d is coming from this point right so this vector a and a, vector d vector a and a vector d are colonial why because they have the same initial point so we can take it as vector a and a vector d are colonial reason is because they have same initial point next day, equal so when we can say two vectors are equal they have same magnitude and the same direction means we can take it as two vectors are equal in same direction and the same magnitude what are the vectors over here here this d and b on the same direction both are on the downward direction only right both the a and so d and b if two vectors having same direction and the same magnitude is called a equal vector so vector d and the vector b are equal next day, co collinear but not equal both are collinear but not equal vectors we need to find out ah uh, see here a and c these are only collinear only right collinear but they are not equal this is in one direction and the other one is the other direction how we can say this is because they both are parallel that means we can say this is collinear but their directions are not same direction are opposite so what we can say this is collinear but not equal so what are the vectors vector a and a vector c next question number five answer the following as true or false first one vector a and minus vector a are collinear both are vector a and minus vector a vector a and if i take without symbol means both are same only vector a and vector a right so what we can say vector a and minus vector a are parallel to the same line only correct so what is this one this statement is true next day, two collinear vectors are always equal in magnitude collinear collinear vectors have same magnitude that is the condition is given we need to verify this one okay collinear vectors are what you mean by collinear vectors those vectors having the parallel to the same line correct parallel to the same line only we can say collinear so collinear vectors are those vectors which are parallel to the same line so here it is mentioned collinear vectors have the always equal in magnitude so we can take it as one is smaller and other one is bigger also correct so there is no it is not necessary to both have the same magnitude maybe it is, it is same but always it is not true so collinear vectors are always equal in magnitude is a false statement this is false next step, two vectors having same magnitude are collinear if two vectors having same magnitude have same collinear so that is also false only right two vectors having same magnitude may have different directions also possible so that is also false two collinear vectors having the same magnitude are equal so two collinear vectors having two collinear vectors are there magnitude is same 
there also equal also we are not able to say correct so two collision vectors having same magnitude are not equal but they are in opposite direction is also possible correct so this is also a false statement